Hey everyone, it's Nolan with Blender2D.com. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to rig your 2D character with bones. So this will make animation a little more simple and it will allow you to uh, do some other cool things like stretching and, and uh, well, things that you can only do if you're using an actual uh, rig, a bone rig. So let's get started. Um, first things first, uh, we're going to have to add a bone. So uh, go to add armature single bone go ahead and click that all right um, actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click N and I'm gonna start uh, I'm gonna start the screencast keys display and it's gonna show everything I press in the corner over here I'll, I'll still explain it but um, just so you can see it what I'm actually pressing in the different combinations in case I forget uh, is going to be down here in this left hand corner of my viewport okay let's continue alright so I'm going to tab into edit mode um, I'm going to put my pivot point the fat part of a bone the the end right here where it's fatter um, that's where the bone is going to pivot from so I want this character's head to pivot right around here where I have this little um arch in his in his uh face okay and i'm going to click the whole bone uh and then shift d drag it um i want my pivot point right here and then i'm trying to find the ball right here okay and i'm going to move it down here do the same thing, shift D, move it to the other side. I want the pivot point there, and I want the end down here. Same thing over here, shift D, shift D. And then for the bot, for the tail, I mean, I'll do that. I want it to pivot right around here. And I need a bone for the body. And I want one more bone uh, to be like a kind of a control bone to move uh, to move the location of the whole rig at one time. All right. Awesome. So that's done okay cool now we gotta start adding our our planes to to the rig but we're gonna do it one at a time um, I'll, I'll show you why in a minute so we'll start with the face you always gotta click on the plane first before you click on um, the bone so oops we're gonna click the face and then we're going to shift click the bone face bone why isn't it selecting the bone oh it did okay and then control p uh, armature deform we're not going to use automatic weights we're going to be inputting the weights manually because if you use with automatic weights um, it will try to use the arm bones and connect those to the face and uh, and makes everything look really goofy so you don't want to do that we're just going to do armature to form. All right, and we're going to go ahead and um, add these uh, these planes in as well, the face, the eyes, and the pupil. You can actually cl click them all at the same time. You can shift click them all, have them all highlighted, and shift click the bone last, and press Control P, and you can still um, set it to parent to something. So we're going to control P and then set it to armature to form alright now if we click on our bone and we go into pose mode you'll see that it does nothing um, that's because the vertexes in our planes haven't been assigned to this bone yet so we're gonna um, click on our plane and we're going to go into weight paint mode uh, set your weight paint mode to add Make sure your weight is at 1 and your strength is at 1. And then we're going to click this little 
there's this little like cube with a dot in the upper left hand side it shows you where your your vertexes are so it's a square and there's only really four points so we're gonna uh, paint on all those but nothing's happening let's see oh something did happen um if it looks like nothing happened uh see i i did i got some of them i'm missing one or i'm missing two so you, what you can do is you can rotate it and it'll make it look really funny but as soon as you hit those other points it should I don't know what's going on. Let's back up a little bit. All right. Here it does something. Here it does nothing. All right. There we go. Um, I don't know what I did. I think I right clicked these dots and for some reason it didn't allow me to uh, paint on it. So uh, make sure that these dots are yellow and don't right click them or anything. Um, I'm not sure what that feature is yet. I haven't really explored that. So as long as you don't right click them and you just paint over them with the, the left click button, you should be good to go. All right, now if I rotate it, you can see it moves the whole head and it doesn't deform funny or anything. All right, now we got to do the same for the eye. So I'll switch back to object mode. Um, we'll click on the eyes, go back to weight paint, and enable this little dot so I can see my dots. All right, and now I paint it over them, and they're good to go. do the same thing for the, the eyeballs weight paint um the dot all right same thing mouth and you don't even really need that if you kind of pay in, pay attention to where your points are so i know where my four points are i could just switch uh, to weight paint and just kind of guess where they are and it'll still work you just have to make sure you hit them with a the paintbrush alright now we have to apply that same concept uh, to all the rest of the bones and the different body parts so I'm gonna get to it I'm not gonna really speak um, but I'll fast forward through it All right, so I figured out uh, what the um, little yellow dots and selecting them was all about. If you uh, don't have them selected, which means they're not yellow, you can't paint on them. So if you accidentally click one, all you have to do is uh, press A, um, uh, A to A to select all of them again, and it, it will make them all yellow. So you should be uh, good to go if that happens to you. And um, if you're wondering how I flipped around so fast, all I pressed was Control and one on the number pad, and it uh, f does the opposite side of one. You can use it for uh, any of the the different angles, like three. I could do Control three and bring me to the other side. Um, but uh, for 2D animation, really, you only you only work with one. Okay. Um, and next. What I wanted to show you guys is how to uh, parent all of these to one bone. So, um, uh, how to parent them so you can 
uh, kind of make him bend over and or if you want move the whole the whole rig to a different location or something so uh, let's do it first I want to parent all of these bones that are above the waist I want to parent to this this bone right here so we're going to select all of the other bones first and then the bone we want to parent to press control P and bone all right now if we rotate nope that wasn't right oh you know what you have to be in edit mode yep okay make sure in edit mode when you do this select all of the bones that you want to be parented to whatever bone and that bone that you want to be the parent has to be last press control P and then select uh, keep offset okay now if we go back into pose mode we rotate this he, he uh, rotates at his waist see okay cool um and we want now but if we move his waist he walks away from his legs and that's not really cool um so how are we going to move the whole character if we want him to uh, walk forward or walk backward or, or jump or something um what you can do is select all of these bones no i'm sorry we have all of these bones parented to this bone so um we don't want to reparent them because that would really screw things up. So we're going to uh, select the bone that they're all parented to, do, and then select this bone and Control P. Oh, I'm sorry. Again, you have to be in edit mode. And to save time, you can select this bone um, and your two leg bones, and then this bone last and parent them, parent them all at the same time. And again, keep offset. So now if we go into pose mode um, and we move this one, they all move, but I can rotate the body without it, uh, without it, uh, really, without it affecting the legs. So I, I can see if I, if I rotate his body too much, his, uh, top of his legs kind of show, kind of funny. So either I'm not going to bend him over that far or um what I would do is I would just scoot him down just a little bit yep alright cool now you can animate him and make him do a little dance sing a little song um whatever you want and you can there's if you go online you can look at a bunch of different advanced rigs and stuff and uh, see how they uh, use bones to make meshes to form kind of funny so you can um like if i take another bone let me just do an example um to show you if i add another bone to this uh this rig let's see i'll go ahead and just copy the head bone all right i'll move it down here it doesn't need to be so big it just needs to exist i'll move it all uh, right underneath underneath his neck here okay and then I no it doesn't affect anything right now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select it I'm gonna click on this plane his head and I'm going into weight paint mode and I don't wanna add a full uh, full weight I just want to uh, touch him just a little bit so now okay, let's get our weight paint mode I want to go into a pose mode now if I move him it makes his head kinda everything kinda like stretches to it and we well, you have to work with it but what I want to do is add a little more because that's not enough for my taste okay and now let's try moving him. Mm, 
you can see his face kind of stretches and you can give him a little bob a little bobbing you know it's it's just an example of what you can do um I made one earlier that looked really <laughs> look he looked really good the way his his face was mo moving and stretching but you can see it makes your your mesh deform and it gives it more cartoony instead of just a um you know like a paper mario type robot uh so it's just little tweaks and tricks you can do when you're using a rig instead of just um animating animating the planes themselves so i hope this tutorial helps um good luck with all your uh 2d animations and stuff and if you have any that you're making or you're working on um, feel free to like us on Facebook and then post the videos there. I'd love to see what you guys are creating. Um, I'm giving you ideas and uh, some of you are giving me ideas. So uh, it's really cool to see what you guys are making and I'd, I'd love to uh, hear from you. All right. Talk to you guys later. Thank you. Bye.